Hey everybody, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show, where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and I've got one that just showed up yesterday. What was yesterday? The day before. It's Asha Meteor Noodles. Whoa, spicy! With fried sauce from Taiwan. I really don't know much of anything about this. Here's what it looks like. The noodles are very thin. It must be a new gauge or something. Cook, strain, add, stir. Okay. It doesn't say how long to cook them for. And that is concerning, but what I can say is they are definitely food. They're different. Yeah, look at these. They're like broad, flat, different kind of noodle. Interesting. Okay, let's not boil over, guys. Then there's a sachet. Got one sachet. So let's set these for three minutes and see what happens. I'll give that a try. Yeah, wow. A very strange, strange day so far. Hopefully a good one. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. I don't know, I should wear my Taiwan hat. One moment. Here's my Taiwan hat, don't boil over. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is from the baseball, World Baseball Classic. I can't remember what year it's from, but this is the China Taiwan, China Taipei ball team. I just figured, hey, why not? Actually, I looked around for this hat forever, and then it was right before Christmas, my wife found it, and she got one for me. I'm like, only one I've ever seen in seven and five eighths. That's an enjoyable hat. I think, see? People will often come up to me and say, like, what team is that? Connecticut? I'm like, no. <coughs> it's not Connecticut. What's interesting is there's the Chinese World Baseball Classic team. And their hat it just has a big old English C on it. It's all red and it has a Chinese flag. This one doesn't have a Taiwanese flag on it, which I'm kind of bummed about. That'd be kind of cool. I really like Taiwan. Oh, this is gonna be like a five minute affair, I think. Yeah. Three minutes just ain't gonna cut it. There. I have to ask them about why. Why are they meteor noodles? What's the whole... I don't understand. I haven't even taken pictures of this stuff. I was just like, yeah, I can, I can crank out another review, why don't I? So I'll have to go and get that review all shot up and take all the pictures and all that stuff. It'll work out. I got time. <laughs> no, I don't. I have no time. My brother and I were talking the other day about like things like, you know, there's people that work, and that's all they do, and that's all they want to do. And when, they, when they're when uh, introduced to free time, they have absolutely no clue what to do with it. They go crazy. It's like, I have a lot of free time. Well, it feels like it, because I like pretty much almost everything that I end up doing during the day. I'm pretty easy going on stuff, you know, but it's like, 
next year after summer they're going to be both going to kindergarten most likely on the same bus at the same time so there'll be like eight hours of the day where it's just me here and i'm thinking like wow a lot of people be like well, what are you gonna do you're not gonna have all those things that you normally do it's like oh don't worry i know how to spend time that like opens so much up i can do more walking I can do more this more that there's less time constraint you know doing three reviews a day with with that setup is no sweat and right now it's like it's really difficult because it's like what well, it's 10 so in about a half an hour yeah i mean i could even do another review this morning but i don't want that's the problem i gotta go and do all the pictures and all the other stuff afterwards and it ends up being a real real juggle because it's like once i've done the review it's like i don't want to do all that other junk i'm done with it i've already tasted it i know what i think about it i'm ready to do the review but then it's like i got to do all the first part of it so that's where this one's gonna stand i have a feeling this is gonna be pretty darn good though we'll see they were very excited about me trying the meteor noodle with fried sauce. I like fried things. Okay, now let's see if this noodle is actually done. It kind of feels like it is. I think five minutes was the sweet spot. I could be wrong, but it seems that way. Here we are. Fried sauce will go on this. Mm. There we go. I think that's good. I got a little bit of extra oomph. Just a little. All right. A pony ride? A real, you wanna do that? You would. That's a good idea. Mimi says she wants to go on a real pony ride and she would hold on really tight to the horse. I don't know if they like that. Yeah, you could ride on a horse with a saddle. That seems like a thing you'd like. Yes, you could pet it. <laughs> and she goes and she goes and she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Hold on, I'm almost done, cutie. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. We need to go down to California and go to the Alameda County Fair, and she can hop on a horse where people are just like walking them in circles like they're crazy. <laughs> Try this, meteor noodle with fried sauce. Hmm. That's pretty good. A little salty. A little bit. Freshly 
Oh, this one's really soft. Wow. Whoa, 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 dippity doo. Stay on there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. sesame seeds I appreciate that and you know I think I'm gonna use some chili flake on this that sounds like a nice accompaniment to this dish I like that uh, I think we are uh, we're good I'm pondering chili oil, but I don't, I don't think it needs it. It's a very uh, rich, rich one, I'm gonna say that much. Yeah, it's pretty good. Rotato, do your stuff. Well, that's it. I'm all done. That's my fourth review of the day. So I'm going to call it good. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, yeah. Hopefully all good things. So watch out for yourselves sooner.